Can you refinish a damaged spoon with no prior experience using only Walmart supplies? Absolutely, and I'll show you how. If you like this video, please toss me a sub and make sure to hit the ding dong. <laughs> Hey, thank you guys for your time, I appreciate it. Let's get started. Big spoons are so much fun to fish, and after vacation last year, I came home and I had placed some in a bag next to some Z-Man plastic, some Ned rigs, and the paint on the spoons reacted with the plastisol or whatever it is that makes up that Elaztec, and it had started to disintegrate. It ruined the finish on two of my favorites, and I wanted to fix them, but I didn't have any experience. I don't know how to use an airbrush, and so I wanted to improve upon them, but I wanted to use things that were inexpensive that anybody could access and anybody could use. Now, we will be testing the durability of this finish on Thursday Night Fishing with TMF, so I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure you check that out before you go. I believe the end result came out better than the original, and I did it in a way that anyone can do it. Let's get into supplies. We gotta go to Walmart today before we start this project to get supplies because I don't have things like paint, paint remover, any real skill. Oh, hold up, I almost forgot my compliance mask. Look at that. I look like some sort of deranged elf. <laughs> Safety first, this is dumb. Lost protective enamel, it's five bucks. That's a little bit more. Translucent yellow, no. Dark gray, clear, that's the only clear option. Look at the crafting supplies. Literally everything is picked over. Feel so safe because that fabric. Weird, weird stuff, man. Okay, got my supplies. Ugh. So what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna remove the hardware off of these spoons. I like to use EWG hooks on spoons. I know some guys use like straight shank. I've had less traumatic experiences where the pike will, they'll suck stuff down. So I'd rather get one of these out of their mouth than a treble that they took deep. These were the two spoons that got the most jacked up by uh, the Ned Rig stuff. I did another video on Ned Rig damage, but all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this hardware off and I'm gonna drop these in some mineral spirits. This is the only thing I have right now that I think can remove paint. And then I have a bag of Walmart supplies that I went and picked up the other day. That's all I got. We're gonna plop these in the mineral spirits and we see if we can get them clean and then we'll figure out what we can do from there. We're gonna try to breathe new life into these baits. These are split ring pliers. It's essentially a pair of needle nose pliers but they got this little nub on the end here so you can get that in between the ridges on the split ring and you can open it up. See if I can do this without getting stabbed. Just a chunk of curved metal that catches fish. I love fishing spoons. This is a three quarter ounce daredevil. This is, oh, it's so still sticky from the Ned baits touching it. I can't wait to clean these off. This is one of the kitchen bowls, so don't tell the missus. What are you looking for? What do you need? I'm not. I just, I just got found out. She just goes, where's my glass bowl? Uh, outside with spoons in it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty sure I goofed this up. I need to go to the store and get something stronger like acetone or paint stripper or something. The finish isn't coming off. That's my mistake, that's a goof, but I'm leaving that in here so that you guys don't make the same mistake I did. I'm gonna get something stronger and we're gonna get this fixed. Good morning, good afternoon. It's been a few days. Uh, I went fishing this morning, which was awesome. That's the type of hooks that we want right in the top of the mouth. The mineral spirits didn't do the job. Went to Walmart, picked up a stripper. I think this is the right tool for the job. So we're gonna put this on the spoons. We're gonna go on about an hour long family bike ride. And then when I come back, I'll check this out and we'll see how it looks. Ooh. <coughs> oh, I should not have sniffed that. It's probably gonna be gel. Oh yeah. Oh boy. All I'm gonna do now is make sure that these are coated and 
Oh yeah, it's already eaten. It's already eaten the, the paint. Look at that, it looks like candy. That was what my Ned rig had started to do. It looks like tomato soup. We gotta get on the road and get back before it's time for nap time for a little guy, so let's go do that. See you in an hour or so. Okay, so it really has been over an hour at this point. I should be able to take these inside and rinse them off, and we should have a clean slate, I think. Yuck, I don't wanna get that on the camera. Oh, that's like not egg yolk. That. Okay, so don't do that because I just had to pick that out of the sink. Boy, I sure learn how not to do things a lot, don't I? I'm fairly certain there was probably a much better way to do that. It was probably the wrong way to do that. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show you how the spoons look. They look great. We're going to get started painting. I'm gonna show you the supplies I got. I spent a total of $17, not counting the stripper. Don't, don't do that with stripper. That's probably not a good way to dispose of it. My wife's gonna come home and go, what's the smell? Cause the whole house smells like. <laughs> Remember I said, don't tell her I was using her bowl and she asked about it. Don't tell her I did that. Just don't contact my wife. She doesn't need to know any of this. This is, she'll use these spoons when we're up north and catch fish with them and then we'll all be happy. It'll be totally worth it. Here's, here's the supplies. Here's the spoons looking sweet they look good 99 cents 99 cents uh, four bucks less than two dollars a piece for red and black less than a dollar for each of these throwaway brushes and then this epoxy was five dollars and this is the only epoxy I could find see how that says clear I am gonna try using I have a food scale I'm gonna see if I can get a weight on these and then see what it weighs with the paint and the epoxy and we're gonna start with our white I'm trying to do this with stuff that you can get at Walmart or your local hardware store because I don't have an airbrush I don't have any real skill we're just trying to fix these things up for the least amount of money possible to get some more use out of them this is definitely not like a long-term permanent solution I don't think but we're gonna test these when we go up north this year and get some teeth into them and see how they hold up as opposed to just going with just the plain silver I mean you could always just take the finish off of it and fish it as a silver spoon. You know, it looks like a Johnson silver minnow. Let's try, I think this is grams. 19 grams. Nine grams. One other thing that I forgot to mention that we're gonna need is this painter's tape. This is something that I already had. Now all we're gonna do to prep these spoons before I start applying paint is I'm gonna cover the back part of the spoon right here, these holes with painter's tape and then I'm gonna take a strip and I'm gonna set this right on top and just kind of nudge it up gently against the edge. I don't want a ton of it getting down underneath. As you can see these spoons, they're concave, they have a bend in them so that they wobble as they come through the water. So they're not perfectly flat. I can't just place that flat on a surface. Okay, so two things. Working on this carpet made it really easy for me to push the edges all along the entire spoon. Also, when I'm doing this, I need to be in front of the camera, not behind it reaching my arms up and over the top of the thing. That was something else we learned, isn't it? There we go. Let's get our white going. I need a box. Overspray is always an issue whenever you're spraying anything. So I'm not gonna spray it right here, but I need a box. I need something I can set these in. Actually for two reasons. One, because when we do the green and the black, I wanna kinda mist that on. I don't wanna get over the top and just go I wanna be able to open this up. I always try to move my fingers out of the way of the knife that I, like in the direction I'm going. So I don't know much, but I know that. All right, so, so let's get this set up and we'll do, we'll do a quick splash of white. So I have something good to work with. We're gonna, we're gonna do black accents on this and then we're gonna do some green over the top of that with some red. And I think that's gonna look sweet. The lakes that we're gonna be fishing this have a lot of perch, they have a lot of bluegill. So that's what we're kind of going for with these. 
I got a little piece of debris on this bigger one. So I'm gonna pick that off once the paint dries. I'm probably gonna give this about 45 minutes or so. I wanna do this in steps, so both of these are kind of gradiated. It's looking really nice. The next thing I wanna do though is I wanna come up with some sort of way to cover this spoon partially. I want the back to be darker by where the hooks are at. I want it to be lighter up front. I have just a piece of cardboard from uh, an unnamed box of some sort that was in the garage. I'm gonna cut this out, but then I'm gonna bend this up just a little bit and I'm gonna tape it inside of my box so that I can go ahead and I can slide this spoon into position and it's gonna be close. And then we're gonna do a smaller one. And then one other thing that I forgot to mention was my wife told me this stuff was called tool. And this is something else I picked up at Walmart, but if you look at it, what does that look like? Scales. We're gonna attach some on this one right over the white. And then on this one, we're gonna wait until we get all of our colors added. And then the last thing we're gonna do is splash it with white. So it's not just super dark colors. At that stage on this one, we'll place the tool on. But on this one, we're gonna place it on now. Hopefully that doesn't lift up the paint that we added on top of it. We got duct tape on both sides and duct tape along the back to keep any paint from getting in from back there. But now look what I can do with the spoon and slide it in and it barely, I'm not gonna do that too many times because I'm gonna get some weird comments. That barely is above the height of that spoon on that side. Okay, so I jumped ahead a little bit here and I've got this tool pulled down around this spoon. Problem is that since it goes over these edges of the tape, watch the shadow as I pull this tight. See how there's shadow, there's light getting up under there, and then when I pull it tight, it goes away. I don't want this perfect because we're mimicking scales, but that's gotta be tighter, tighter than what I got it. So I'm gonna try to tape this down to a piece of cardboard. Let's see how that looks. And I believe that solves the issue. Yeah, check that out. That's really cool. Let's paint. All right, so. We're out here in the garage and the deal now is I got these set up with the templates over the top of them. This is how they're sitting in there. That's the small one, that's the big one. So we're gonna come at it from this side. That was my shoe I didn't, I didn't rip. Now we wait. It's gonna be interesting. Okay, so both of these are looking pretty good. We're kind of getting the effect that we're going for, and I think I'm gonna hit them with green now. Here's how they look at this point. I think we're gonna have to do some really nice, some feathered hooks. I think I need to dress some hooks to really kind of complete the look on these, but let's hit them with green real quick and see how that looks. So we've got the second, what I would consider sled, where we have this tool pulled over our green and black spoon. This one's a little bit larger, and I was able to get this tight down around all the edges, except on the back here. When I pulled it down tight over the back, there's like a bow in it that forms. So I might, I'm gonna squeeze this together and kind of spin it and pull it down and tape it, and that should be okay. This is our other spoon. Now this one already has that tool on it and it's been painted, so I'm anxious to pull that off. But we're gonna dust these with white. I think we're in pretty good shape. This is coming together coming together nice. Okay, let's peel this off and see, see how we did here. That's way better. That looks good. This looks much better than that. That don't look so hot. Definitely liking the second method much more than the first. Good morning. So everything dried. I went back and I touched this up. Looks pretty good. And then we have this one, which is darker, 
it's dark green to lighter green with a scale pattern and that did actually take. I'm gonna put a little bit of red acrylic, just kind of a splatter on there. It's just something with a little more of a colorful flash. Obviously with a spoon, you're relying on the actual color of the spoon for a lot of your flash. So we'll come back and we'll dress up a hook to add to these to really kind of complete the package. But so far, so good. So we have some apple red acrylic paint. This is a matte finish. This is not glossy, but that's okay because after we add the splatter effect on here, what we're gonna do is go through with clear epoxy and we're gonna coat the paint job. We're gonna weigh it. We're gonna see how much weight that we've added to the spoons and we're gonna select our hooks and split rings, put them on and we should be ready to go. Sweet. That's awesome. Awesome. All right, so now that these are dried off and looking pretty sweet, I'm gonna clean up a little bit of the paint that's hit, hitting the edges here, and that chips right off. But because that chips right off, we're gonna do an epoxy clear coat on this to just try to extend the life of the, of the finish. So I want all of this covered with epoxy and then up here where my split shot attaches, that's where these wires are gonna be at. And then we're gonna hang it up and then we'll weigh it to see how much that plus the paint adds to the weight, but I don't think it's gonna be a huge deal. Let's pinch that with pliers and hold it so that the pressure is against the pliers, not against the spoon. There, that'll give me something to hang it from and it should be tight enough that I can run a brush against it. Actually, let's, ooh, that's hot. It got warm. This is actually old floral wire that I had for some other projects. Really thin, it's not very strong stuff. There, that'll work. Oh shoot, dang it. Of course. <laughs> oh my gosh. So now, okay, cross your fingers on that. So this stuff should dry clear. I'm gonna try to stir it kind of slow and not introduce a bunch of bubbles if I can avoid it. And then we're just gonna brush this on with a throwaway brush from Walmart, obviously, because everything's from Walmart. I hope this really does dry clear because it's looking pretty milky at the moment. If it really does dry clear, it's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna see what that does, they're hanging up. All I did was walk over and wick away some of the stuff that had pulled near the bottom. I just took the brush and just barely touched it at the very bottom of the spoons to get the extra epoxy off. I'll show you how these look hanging up. I think, I think we're in good shape. These are gonna be cool. Well, good evening. We're gonna finish up the spoon tonight, I think. I would have finished this three or four days ago, but the truth of the matter is that I went fishing three out of the last four days and caught 10 bass. All of them will end up on Thursday fishing with TMF. So make sure you check that out. I'll put a link in the description for that. That's important because if I do fishing videos and we work on projects or I make modifications to the boat or I do a rod repair video, but then I never test it, it doesn't really do you guys any good. So it's important that I keep fishing. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. The spoons came out beautiful. They look awesome. Look how good that looks. Oh my gosh. I'm ready to get some hardware on that and slay some pike. Look at that right there. And that right there. Now them some spoons. Yes, sir. This is probably the part that I was not looking forward to the most. Actually, that's not bad at all. All that needs is a little touch up. I will probably have to drill this out, but first I'm gonna try to slice my finger open with this knife. There we go, that's not bad. I am gonna to touch that up a little bit before we put before we put the hardware on. Now this one, this one came out pretty sweet. How's the teeth brushing going? Great. You're gonna be in all of my videos, like coming out going, what are you doing? Yeah, I'll be right in. Let me take this wire off this. She's a big supporter of the old fishing. I'm very blessed. She held down the fort while I went several times in the last couple of days. 
and without her, none of this uh, is possible, so. It takes the teamwork to make the dream work, man. Oh, that's much better than the other one. Now I can clean that out carefully, and I'm gonna touch them up with a little bit of paint, but that's also where the hardware is gonna ride on the front. I just stabbed myself, gosh dang it. It's to the point now where every time I do something, there's blood. Whether I'm fishing or working on something like this. I have no idea what this weighed before. That's reading 20. I don't understand how much grams are so that I shouldn't act surprised like I know what I'm talking about. 10, 10, we're going with 10. Interesting. I think all that's left to do real quick on these is a little bit of touch up and then I'm gonna put the hardware on it tonight. They look really cool. I'm really happy with them, especially considering this is the first time I've ever done anything like this and we used Walmart supplies, not too shabby. They're gonna work. We're gonna test them when we go to Wisconsin in a month and I'm gonna tape it. They're gonna work, they'll work, they'll work. They'll work. Safety first. Where's my glass bowl? Uh, outside with spoons in it. <laughs> Went to Walmart, picked up a stripper. Don't tell her I did that. Just don't contact my wife. Don't, don't do that with stripper. That's probably not a good way to dispose of it. My wife's gonna come home and go, what's the smell? Cause the whole house smells like <laughs> Oh shoot. Dang it. Of course. It's to the point now where every time I do something there's blood.